Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to check your antifreeze and how to add some if needed. Um, you'll see a little container like this, most likely on your vehicle. Um, they'll have a thing that says uh, engine coolant or something on there. You only want to open this when your vehicle is cold and it hasn't been running for a while. Otherwise, the fluid will come spraying out, you'll get burnt, you'll won't be happy. This here is just another option. This is on my Jeep Wrangler. Um, as you can see, that one's kind of low. There's no, the fluid's like way down to the bottom on there, so I have to add some fluid there too. Um, if you get in some older vehicles, the only option is to fill it through the radiator cap, and you have to take that off again only when your vehicle is cold and hasn't been running for a while. Otherwise, it'll spray off or spray out. And you can look in there and see how much fluid you have, and then add if necessary. One thing you may have noticed is that on my Jeep, I have the orange coolant here. And in the other vehicle I was showing, it has the green coolant. You don't want to mix those two. So only put orange coolant in vehicles that have orange coolant, only green coolant in the vehicles that have green coolant. So in my owner's manual, it even says that this vehicle is not recommended to use the propylene glycol based engine coolant um, that's the green stuff instead what they want you to use is a hybrid organic additive technology engine coolant or HOAT um, so that's the orange stuff so you want to check with your owner's manual and see what kind you're supposed to use before you buy antifreeze because you're not supposed to mix them and a vehicle designed for one is not supposed to have the other. These vehicles will usually have some sort of a fill line to tell you what, how much to put in. Like this one has a max line there and a min line down at the bottom you can't barely see. You can kind of see it says min there down at the bottom. Um, you want your fluid to be somewhere between there. Mine is just below the min line, so I'm going to want to add some to there. On this other vehicle, you got full cold right here. And that one's actually a little low too. So we'll want to add some fluid there. So I'm going to pop the top off. I know it hasn't been running for a while, so it's good and cold. You can see there's a little bit of fluid down in there, but it's not quite to where I want it to be. Um, when you buy fluid, a couple options you can get one that says ready to use that's basically antifreeze that's mixed half and half with water um, it's almost the same price as regular coolant or antifreeze but it's already mixed for you um, it's also sold as 50 50 it's 50 percent water 50 percent antifreeze and the other option just doesn't say that it just says antifreeze coolant and before you use that you want to mix it with some water. So what I got here is an empty jug. I'm going to fill that halfway with water and then the other half of the way I'm going to fill it with this straight antifreeze. Um, if you don't have an empty jug to put some in you can probably buy a ready to use for the first time and then once that's gone fill it halfway with water and then buy one that's not mixed with water and save yourself a few bucks. Fill my jug about half full here with water. And then I'm going to fill it up the rest of the way with antifreeze. When you first open it up, there will be a little seal on there. You can break that with your finger and then dump it in. pour kind of slow so that you don't overfill it. You want to be careful, wipe up any spills or anything because it is poisonous and it's really sweet to the taste so animals would love to drink it but then they'd basically die a miserable death and we don't want that to happen. You want to put your funnel in your overflow tank 
and then add a little at a time into the funnel and then stop and check your fill line see where you're at I'm pretty close just gonna pour a dab more in there and I'm gonna call that good so now you've topped off your antifreeze you want to remove your funnel put your valve cap or your not your valve cap but your coolant cap back on um, close down your hood and you're good to go.